and welcome back to another episode of Fippy Dippy. Um, after we beat this dra dra dragoon or whatever the hell it's called, I guarantee you that it's going to be really interesting because of the fact that uh, after this, we lose Alicia. So, Alicia, we won't be using her for the rest of the game until we do the DLC because she does have DLC for her, her stuff. And that's when it comes to happen. But that's beside the point. Just want to let you know that. And that's what's going to happen. And you will understand why we lose her. From this point. I think that went pretty well. Uh, okay, can you still... Yeah, she's still... Uh... Alright, so we're gonna this be... Is it. Yes, it is it. You gotta take on this fucking dragon! Come on, make me out! Got the arrows! Come on, let's do this! Uh, he ranks! That's some power you got there. I can only hear the one shot. One <laughs> shot? Damn, one that's... One shot is enough. Saray, I'll do the aiming. Right. All right. And I'll All right. pick when to fire. Now! That's one shot, the one shot, one kill, bitch. Nice. It's not over yet. This is it. Even a mere Drake is this big and this strong? You can't be serious. He should know the difference in size and scale a dragon has by now. We are here to do whatever must be done. That's right. As we are now, we can do it. Whatever. Try not to die out there. Ready to go! It's over! Awake, Renner! You are power! Awake, Renner! Trust me! Awake, Renner! What level is this guy? He's level 19, damn. Do I have arts for me? Let me see. Ah, oh, there we go. What arts does she have? Oh, yeah, she has a lot. There we go, we healed up then. If they won't! We did it! 
That's Drake. what happens. I love being just this. A Drake. Sure, we might not be strong enough to beat a dragon yet, but yeah, we will get there someday. The flames of purification. Might you be the shepherd? Yes, I am, bitch! So, you must be Marlins. <laughs> Guardian Seraph Rohan. This guy, this guy, this guy looks like he's freaking... What should I say? I was. You sound like you're pissed off, dude. Very nearly or you look like you're pissed off. I have no right to continue protecting this town. I don't think so. Don't say that. I say that because he's a dick. Seraph Rohan. I am Alicia Difta, princess of the Kingdom of Highland. It is we who must bear the blame. We who corrupted the hearts of the people and set you on the path to becoming a Hellion. Yes. But I assure you that I shall set things right. If you must punish anyone, let it be me. Ooh, she's thinking... So please, if it's still possible, let us have your blessing just this once. Yes! You're an impassioned young princess. I'll give you that. You can see me? Yes. I have pledged myself as Soray's squire. Have you? And you're okay? Huh? Uh. I see. That's something that the they malevolence don't... in town has lowered significantly. You're the one who dispelled it? We all did. Hmm. Then so be it. I'll extend my blessing. Oh, thank you. I want to help too! Thank, thank you, you so much. Uh... It appears the corruption has yet to spread to this tree. Using this as a vessel, I shall expand the Blessed Domain. You got it! Norman Power! I've got the Blazing Power, bitch! Huh? What's this? What happened? There's still a mega-powerful Hellion running around near here. The domain it's creating is in the way, and we can't stop the invasion of the Lesser Hellions. A major Hellion? Where? To the southwest. It isn't far. Saray, we must defeat it. But if we leave the town in this state... With your guards all a-sleeping and your Hellions all a-creeping... Saray! Sorry, I just blinked out for a second there. You need a rest. In. Now. Indeed. Good ideas will surely come after we take a breather. Hmm. The young shepherd's starting to deteriorate. I ought to be more understanding. Deteriorate? Ah, the oh, that's right. Blessing from the story. Okay, so there is a. Where did I go wrong? <laughs> Lila, darling, you really found yourself a peach of a shepherd. <laughs> Good on you. Why, thank you. You two go way back, don't you? There was a time once when the Norman Seraphim and I traveled together. Oh, really? Lila was like an idol to us. At one point, all 49 of us begged her to make us her sublords. You didn't go for it? Um, no. Let's all just be friends, she told us. What a cruel woman. Well, 49 is a bit much. The trauma nearly killed us. We all scattered over the globe to be alone with our oh. Molly. What? So, Surely that wasn't necessary. You suggest a carpy. 
I don't think I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Us Norman, we roll with life's punches. We all treasure it as a bittersweet memory from when we was carefree youngins. This nostalgia trip is boring me, but it's true that Norman have useful abilities. If we find any more, let's catch him. It'd be sad if they turned into hellions. I'd get oh, a yeah, kick out of right. my old buddies again. I promise we'll help you folks out. The Lord of the Land. Alright, uh, let's see. Yes, we can add Normans. Our attack power goes up. Sweet. Uh, no, we do not. We want to keep those. So this is a different area. We have to go to the inn. So this is where we lose fucking um, Alicia at some point. And when we do lose Alicia... The game has its issues because unless you have another human, you cannot have the you can only have two player two characters in battle. Which I think is a down step, but I think they did that on purpose though. I'm not too sure. So yeah. Oh, before we save it. Could you tell me more about equipment skills? Way to have your head in the game. First, let's go over the basic skills. Okay. Basic skills can be broken down into 10 groups with five different elements. So in total, it's 10 times five. Think you can do the math, genius? 50. There are 50 Norman named after the basic skill they offer. Each one has the power to draw forth that specific skill. So if yes. you find a skill that you like, Go find that Norman and send them off to the Lord of the Land to do your dirty work. Yes. Elements and skill groups aren't just for tweaking the effects of your skills. They're also closely linked to bonus skills. That's all the time we have for today. See you again next week. Next week? We're doing this again? I think we deserve some veggie sticks. I think we deserve veggie sticks, to be honest with you. How are you feeling? Right as rain. Good. I've never heard that. Sick shepherd. That'd be bad. <sighs> and precisely how long had you been saving that one? <laughs> Looks like we've got our saray back. Hey, it's the Rose. Shepherd. Perfect timing. Agil. We heard about the bridge. You're a superstar. Well, you know. You know? You know, you well, know? Whatever. Anyway, we need you to sign for this. Huh? What? Me? I didn't order shit! Well, Saray hasn't been doing anything. More medicine. It was ordered by a guy named Naif. Buck up! We got this! Ha, I guess you're right. Also a message. I found a group of mercenaries headed toward Marland and asked them to protect the town, but they refused me. I have asked for additional reinforcements from Lady Lake, but it will take some time. That's all. Mercenaries! They might work in a pinch! Can mercenaries stand against the Hellions? Probably not the Hellhounds, but they might be able to handle lesser Hellions. They are vicious, but they are visible. And little. But they already refused the guard job. I could try asking again as sincerely as possible. Wouldn't hurt to go try. Thanks for passing along the message. Hey, why are you going through all this trouble anyway? Why? Good question. I mean, you can't just not help people in trouble. Hmm. I guess.
get it. I get that you're weird. <laughs> Rose, you are now, so boring. Where is the medicine going? The sanctuary. Gotcha. Oh, hey. You didn't happen to run into a group of mercenaries on the way here, did you? You mean the woodsmen? They came with us. I think they're probably still in town. They said they were going to stock up. Oh yeah, the guy! He's a nice dude, although he... Well, the malevolence has gone down quite a bit. God damn it, I wanted to fucking save from the start! Now then, this time we'll be covering skill groups. We are not gonna talk about- It's just been one fucking day! Are the doing the teaching around here? Shut up and listen. Yes, okay. ma'am! It yes, wouldn't be prudent to explain everything at once. So I'll start off with the ones you can obtain in the beginning phases. So first, there's the status column. This increases basic stats by a certain percentage. Here, it's wise to improve upon your given strengths. Then there's the HP column. If you're prone to damage, it's best to improve on this. Or just don't get hit in the first place, doofus. But anyways, as you can see, <laughs> aligning the same skill group together to carry out a tactical battle is one option that you have. And that's where the bonus skill comes into play. See you again next week. Next week? It was just one fucking day, bitch! Fuck you! <laughs> next week, it was just one day. We ate we ate one fucking meal, and then you guys decided to explain it on me, dropping me off like a fucking sack of fucking potato! Fucking bitch! Oh yeah, we have fusion points, I forgot. We have enough money for it. Uh, let's go back. Snacks. Oh yeah, we can find normies now. Um, I'll wait until she's done with that. Finding normies actually helps me out. There we go. Okay. So we're supposed to go here, right? Here. I'll Thank you. Do you a favor. The Norman's power sure are. It hasn't been an interesting, interesting day. day. Yes. The Norman's ability to uh, assist is quite helpful, and each one has different capabilities. They yes. all look the same, though. Its abilities change from combining them in different ways, right? They have bad attitudes, even though they're Norman. Yes, there should be increasing numbers of Norman which you could combine to make new effects. Norman times Norman equals Norman how? You sure have it in for the Norman, Edna. Not really. Just a bone or two to pick. By which I mean 77 confrontations, 108 complaints, and 32 appeals. That's all. Sounds... <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this lady? Yeah, I love Edna. She's awesome. She's like the most fucking typical fucking character of all time. It's fucking hilarious. Hurry and get your supplies. We can't be wasting time in a crazy town like this one. What happened? Wild dogs were attacking the sanctuary, but these guys put them down. Gotta admit, that was some fine teamwork. Those dogs are Hellions. And no pushovers either. Well, for a human anyway. Excuse me, may I ask you a favor? Huh? You're talking to the woodsman, bub. We don't do babysitting. And we won't get your kitty out of a tree. It's about a job only you guys can handle. I'm the leader, Lucas. What's this job you speak of? We want you to protect Marlin for a little while. Yeah, we were asked that before, but turned it down. Ain't taking no chances guarding over a place that's diseased. Ooh, shot. Hey, boss. The kid you're talking to is the shepherd. Ooh. The miracle bridge maker? 
This scrawny little duckling? You're pulling my chain, right? No. We found a way to bring Marlin back to how it was, but we have to leave town to do it. And the guards here aren't in a condition to fight because of the epidemic. So you want us to handle it, huh? Yes! We do the grunt work so you can get the glory. Is that how it is? It's nothing of the sort. Huh, <laughs> so you say. What do you need? Let me tell you something, Mr. Shepard. Money talks and horse crap walks. If you're serious about it, put your cash on the table, then we'll talk. Okay. Five thousand. How about it, Mr. Shepard? Well, well. Looky here. The Shepard comes through. Guess we really can trust you after all. Yeah, I got the money. I can just get. Whoever gives you money. I can get the money. I. And what I... else, pray tell, should be my motivation? Duty, chivalry. Let's say this epidemic kills one of my subordinates. Will duty and chivalry step in to take care of his grieving family? Good point. W well... He, she but if I he... have money, I can make sure they've got a safety net. That's the kind of contract I have with my team. And that's why in return, they're willing to put their lives on the line. Yes. <sighs> nice job. You need to start facing reality, sister. Yeah, nice job, mercenaries. Facing reality, huh? So, you want us to guard the town, huh? We'll take the job, but on one condition. In return... Can we do whatever we want to this town while you're away? Saray, are you sure about this? It's fine. No one who values contracts so highly would do anything sleazy. You passed the test. All right, you bums, we got a job to do. We're staying in Marland and guarding it. Alpha and Bravo squad secure the perimeter. Charlie, handle things in town. I'll go tell the guards what's up. These orders come from the shepherd himself. Don't slack off out there. Yeah, we're gonna die! <laughs> oh my god. What's this? Your change. It's our policy to accept a reasonable price for the job we do. Well, they're cheaper than we imagined. We may not look it, but we value our customers. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that, we got half of it back. Even though they really took a debt out of us if we keep getting fucking money. Bitch! <laughs> oh, we can just go to one of the land. Okay, so we can go anywhere we can. Um, so, yeah, welcome to my world, bitches. You can do the side quest missions on your own, but I don't know where the hell we're supposed to go. That's gonna be the issue here. At least you can leave the town, though. So I guess there's still one more thing that we can do with Alicia. I thought that was gonna be it. What level are we? We're level 18. Huh. I got an idea. I'm putting it on easy because I want to kill this fucking thing. Because he's going to be weaker. I shall protect everyone. What level is it? It's, le it's still level 19. Oh, like, god damn it. Don't 
So close. Damn, this thing does not like that. Awake, better! We got it. That was fucking work, man. Jesus Christ. Alright, uh, you know what we gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna switch to uh, Edna and I'm gonna be so right in fact. That was a difficult battle. Let's restore our vitality. Yes, let's do that. You're the healer anyway. Alright, so we're supposed to go over there, but... I want to take out the other one, too. Hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna fight the other thing before we move on. Because there are two enemies here. I know that for a fact. And the other one's over here. And at least I can train up, because I leveled up. I almost leveled up during that fight. Um, yeah, she's gonna keep doing that because she's the only one who can replenish bottles and stuff. At least I can get to the other side. I finished preparing the gel. Oh, thank you. We need that. No, we don't. You might be wondering what the hell am I doing? Well, remember that monster that we saw earlier? Yeah, everyone's level back up so I can switch her back to snacks. That was fucking brutal, man. I didn't know that fight was going to be that fucking tough. And, and we're on easy mode, too. We died like a bunch of times. These monsters are not... These monsters are fucking difficult to kill. That's the problem with this fight, you know? Oh, I know what the hell we're doing. Okay. I know where we're going now, but we gotta fight this guy first off and see if there's anything in this town first. Let's check this place before we move on, because we will fight that fucking thing. Now, 
Nothing's here. Uh, I'll check later. I just wanted to make sure that there's nothing here right now at the moment. But we gotta go fight that fucking thing. You know that thing that's level 19 over here? Yeah. We're probably gonna get our asses kicked, but you know, whatever. I mean, we should be fine. I need... At least I can train up for the time being. Hopefully. But I need to beat this thing before I move on. Because once we get... Once we... Once we lose Alicia, we can't come back here for a while. Which I think is really bad. But yeah. Because once we lose Alicia, we can't come back here for a while. This aroma. Oh wait. Fucking wolves. Yeah. Is that Roma? That might help us out. And it's this fucking thing. We have to kill this thing first. Before we end the part. And hopefully we don't get our asses kicked. Um, I'm gonna eat some... Cause these are the only two things. Hey, buddy, where the hell you think you're going? We can't afford oh, it's level 15. We should be fine. They're way stronger than the ones we saw when we left the village. This is a manic armor. It is said that they're strongest when the full moon is out. Then now's our chance. We can take them on. As I... She leveled up! She healed up! Yes! Alright, cool beans. Thank God, thank God I knew what the hell I was doing because of reasons. Alright, we gotta go back to normal. Simple, normal. Because it's an easy mode. Oh, we have a new one. Blast Gauge. Ooh, that might be useful. Well, we have 67 that we can use. So yeah. But yeah, we're gonna move on. Um, I'm gonna go off camera. I know where the hell to go this next next part. Um, so well I think I do. But we're gonna go train off Alicia because of these fucking things. Hers is the hardest one because after we done this part after we get kill the thing that we're supposed to kill, sh we can't use Alicia anymore until the DLC. So I just want to let you know that this is going to be the last fight that we have Alicia. So we're going to train her off camera so that way she doesn't get her butt smacked and almost die during the last fight. But we're level 19. Um, to be honest with you, I like these monsters better just because of the fact that uh, you level up. In Tales of Berseria, these monsters, you don't gain any XP. And that's what the main problem with that is. But they have a different gimmick on that game. So, 
Stay positive. Hope you guys have a nice positive day. I'm gonna go train off camera. I'm probably going until level, probably like level 23, 24, something like that. But I hope to stay positive, everyone.